judging from the look of her eyes, I'm pretty sure she's like, oh, I had enough. I mean, like, oh, I had enough. Please stop. <laughs> Not something else, I guess, but uh, who knows? <laughs> Oh, hey fellow knights, um, just is making sure Jake isn't around after he saw that video. If you uh, haven't seen it, um, check it in the annotation right here. Um, what video? Well, you know what video I'm talking about. So anywho, before we begin, I just wanted to say... He knows. Okay, I uh, had a word with Jake for a little bit and uh, he said it's all good because uh, while it's not tier 15 because uh, I explained to him that someone said that it's actually tier 5. So a uh, special shout out to my boy Jake Killen Gaming for the effort to help. So uh, thank you for saving me back there. I really, really appreciate it. And also he even mentioned the, uh, the, the reference of that one media which was Pokemon and uh, thank you for, uh, for reminding me that one because I was was not into Pokemon when I was a kid. Well, kind of, but uh, not really because I am not a huge Pokemon fan and all. Also, regards to your uh, to your anniversary video. How did you almost know my name? Okay, so with that out of the way, you guys know the drill. And what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. She does sound quite short of bre breath, and I've been tickling her for quite a while. I think I've had my revenge. It's only when I stopped tickling her that I realized the situation we're in. I'm sitting on top of her, pinning her down with my legs. One of my hands rests where her neck meets her shoulder. The other one is wrapped around her wrist. Okay, I'm glad she's uh, she's relaxed now, so um... Ah, uh, Jay Killen, man. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I would have been in trouble right now. As the laughter from both of subsides, a new atmosphere takes its place. Not exactly awkward, but it's unusual and neither of us know how to react. I meet Sayori's gaze and find something in her eyes. What exactly is it? I wish I could read that expression, but the novelty of the situation makes me unsure. Um, judging from the look of her eyes, I'm pretty sure she's like, Oh, I had enough. I mean, like, Oh, I had enough. Please stop. <laughs> Not something else, I guess, but uh, who knows. Expectant? Was the, word, was the word I was looking for? I don't know. To anyone looking in, this probably wouldn't look as innocent as uh, we think it does. I hasten to climb off her, and she responds by seeing up the bed and completed... Cookie, <laughs> completed goodie bags, but all but forgotten. Sorry, I uh. No, no, it's okay. She responded quite quickly. It wasn't just me who sensed something in the atmosphere. The atmosphere is becoming more and more awkward by the moment. What exactly happened? Anyway, I managed. I, I I'm glad we managed to get the goodie bags finished. Oh yeah, me too. They were a lot of fun to make. I just hope the other students like them. I'm glad she's able to roll with the change of topic. Just like that, some of the awkward air is dispelled. Monica will be pleased too. A lot of effort went into these. I know she'll appreciate what we have done. Mm hmm I think Yuri will love the quotes too. Some of those really reminded me of her. Not just me who thought of that then. How are you feeling about the actual recital, though? Eh, I mean, I know I probably seem pretty enthusiastic when Monica asked us. But you're kind of nervous now? Yeah, I guess. We'll be okay, though. I mean, I have my poem, and I sort of know how I want it to go, so I think with a little more practice, it'll be fine. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Let's not think about that. Uh, what about you, Finn? Aren't you nervous? Truthfully, yeah. I don't have Monica's confidence, sadly. But hey, I really like the club, and this is my chance to give something back to it, right? Yeah, that's a great attitude to have. Besides, I have an excuse to be bad. 
I'm new and nowhere near as experienced as you guys, so that's my justification of my performance isn't that great. Finn, all you have to do is practice, okay? Your performance will be just as good as ours, I know it. It's nice to have someone believe in me, I guess. Thank you, Sayori. No problem. I probably should get going, though. Need to practice my poem and stuff. Yeah, that reminds me. I should probably do the same. Do you want to take the goodie bags? Sure. Okay, I'll put them in the sack for you. One second. I rummage around, finding a bag big enough for all of the smaller ones. Handing the, the big one over to Sayori, we both head downstairs. As she hovers by the doorway, she turns around to face me. There's a shyness on her face. Oh, uh, by the way... Yeah? Thanks for today, Finn. I hadn't had this much fun in a long time. Hey, that's alright. I really enjoyed myself too. We should make this a more regular thing. Her face lights up. Yeah, I like the sound of that. I'll see you tomorrow for the festival, okay? That you will. See you tomorrow, Sayori. As she waves and walks off, bag in hand, it takes me a few moments to identify what it is I'm feeling inside. Um, this fuzzy feeling inside and all not gummed up or something? Happiness. Something as simple as going to town and making goodie bags with Sayori. It made me feel really warm inside. <laughs> hey, at least it's not. At least it's. At least it's better than being all gummed up inside. Let's just uh, go with that. All warmed up inside. That's much much better because it's all about happiness with Sayori. How has it taken me this long to realize? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. And another day comes. Oh, <laughs> going upbeat today, huh? It's the day of the festival. The preparations for the event should be nearly complete, given all the work everyone's put in over the weekend. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited. F I'm more excited for it to be over, so I can spend time with Sayori at the festival. Knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. It's been a while though. Where's Sayori? We were meant to walk together, but she's late again. I don't want to leave her behind, but if she takes much longer, I'm going to be late for school. More time passes. There's going to be a moment of decision if she doesn't arrive. Just time I'm getting ready to leave, I finally spot her, slowly making her way down the street. She's carrying a large sack in her hands, and I'm surprised she isn't running over to me. Isn't she aware of how late she is? Sayori, where have you been? We could have been late for school. Wah, uh, I know, I'm sorry. I, um... Overslept again? Or couldn't decide what to have for breakfast again? She immediately pouts. You're such a meanie sometimes, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know my teasing is all in good fun, right? She mumbles something under her breath. Of course. By the way, I double-checked the little bags. They're all in here. She gestures to the large sack, a bright smile evident on her face. Good stuff, Sayori. People are gonna love them. That's a really good idea. Candy, bookmarks, and literature quotes are th perfect things to give out from our event. Uh-huh. Something for everyone. Although, I'm kinda nervous for the festival. Honestly, I don't blame you for that. It's kinda nerve-wracking, isn't it? I mean, I know how much it means to Monica, but at the same time, I didn't really realize how intimidating reciting poetry to a bunch of strangers can be. Yeah, it was all for it back in the club room, but now the actual day is here. She looks a little nervous. I reach over and give her a squeeze on the shoulder. It'll be fine, don't worry. I know how much you like poetry, and plus your poems are great! I just hope my own performance is up to standard. Oh, don't be silly, Finn. They love your poem, I just know it. I chuckle, admiring the, de the definitive optimism that really makes Sayori... Well, Sayori. Well, she's just... well, Sayori. <laughs> 
Guess we'll find out. <laughs> By the way, are you doing anything after the festival? Anything fun? Nope, I haven't really planned that far ahead. I'm not great at doing that anyway. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping we finish early so we can have the rest of the day off, to be honest. So what you're really saying is that you really just want to go home and sleep, right? Ooh, look at how many students they are. How many clubs are there having, having their own little event today? I would say, Yori, uh, quickly dodging the uh, the conversation right there. Or er, subject, sorry. What a tactical change of topic that was. <laughs> she was avoiding it, I'd say. Our school is in sight and there's a lot of students milling around. It's a little strange to think that there's so many fellow students around, yet I've still been feeling so lonely. Or at least before joining the literature club. I will just put that aside, because now you have some friends, MC. Friends at the Lurcher Club, so don't you worry, you ain't a loner no more. Times like these make me grateful that Sayori told me about in... <laughs> Times like these make me grateful that Sayori told me about at the club in the first place. I don't know, probably quite a few. By the way, Sayori... Hmm? What's up, Finn? I just wanted to say, uh... Well, no matter how this festival goes, I'm really grateful you told me about your club and let me join. I've had a lot of fun so far. I scratched the back of my head nervously as Sayori looks at me, looks curious, curious, <laughs> curiously at me. I've never been good at expressing myself, and it probably shows. I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, thank you. It's been so fun being able to spend time with you again too. It really takes me back. You don't have to thank me for anything, silly. I've enjoyed it too. After all, it would be lovely if things go back to how they used to. How they used to? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Strange choice of words. What could she mean by this? As we enter the courtyard and make our way to our meeting room, she breaks the, si she breaks the silence by giggling. Uh, something funny? I just thought a way of a way to steal one of Natsuki's cupcakes without her realizing. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Natsuki might be a li might be a little, but you know better than I do that she can be very fiery, unless if she's going to you know swoop right through like a like a ninja ninja power. Oh, don't worry about her. She might seem a bit mean on the outside, but she's harmless. Don't let her fool you. Well, I'd rather prefer than me. Ditto. Finn, Sayori. Oh, hey, Monica. <laughs> Been a while, huh? Uh, ever since I skipped the uh, the entirety of Act 1, but I don't care because it's basically the exact same thing. But uh, yeah, let's not dwell into that as well because now we're into the festival. It's good to see you guys. Do you want to come and give me a hand? Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems performing. In the end, I found a random poem online and I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. Hey, do you guys want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh yeah, they really did. Mm-hmm, they look really pretty. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize the girl's poems from the other ones that you performed during our practice. Just then, Natsuki bursts into the room carrying a box that positively towers over her. Yuri trails in behind her, carrying a rolled up banner and a large duffel bag. All right, it's festival time! Wow, you guys got here before me? I thought it was pretty early. Uh, sorry for being the last one here. I'm glad that some preparation is already on your way through. It should take, it should take less time to set everything up this way. Yeah, let's work hard together, everyone. Natsuki unpacks her box to reveal four trays of cupcakes stacked carefully on top of each other. Finn! I jump at the sudden outburst. Y yes Help me lay out these cupcakes. Um, then if you wouldn't mind. Sayori, can you help me with these? 
Sayori gestures at her bag, which to which Sayori nods cheerfully. I help Natsuki with her cupcakes while Yuri and Sayori put start putting up decorations. Meanwhile, Monika continues down putting down pamphlets. It isn't it isn't long before Natsuki has carefully arranged her cupcakes in a neat formation. Each cupcake is topped with white icing and some kanchai kanchai kan ken kanchai. Oh yeah, it's the uh, the Japanese. Uh, wording in her characters there, written in a var variety of different color frostings. Wow, these look pretty, really good. Pretty idea to make them literature club themed as well, Natsuki. Yeah, it was a good idea, huh? I wrote down words that specifically have to do with poetry in our poems too. She picks up a cupcake to show to show me. See, this one says create. Uh, isn't that the kanji for use? Eh? As Natsuki furiously checks over the rest of her cupcakes to look for more miswritten characters, I glance over at Sayori and Yuri. They put up a banner with an inspirational quote written on a colorful, colorful, <laughs> colorful gradient of the words of, of the colors of the sky. A good writer possesses not only his own spirit but also the spirit of his friends. Uh, that's a quote by the German philosopher Fredrik Nietzsche. He's had some very interesting thoughts, though there are some that I don't quite agree with. Oh, I think I've heard of him. As usually, Yuri outclasses me with her intellect. It seems that they have also hung up a curtain of origami paper tied to ribbons in the doorway. Upon closer inspection, each paper has a different kanji character written on it. Hey, looks like you did something similar to Natsuki with your kanji curtain. Is that so? I'll have to take a look of I'll have to take a look at what she's done after I finish setting up. She gestures to a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. Yuri said that Yuri said that that's an oil that's an essential oil diffuser. <laughs> yes, it's for aromatherapy, one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Huh, I'm excited to see how it works later. Looks like all the preparations are almost finished now. I feel like there's something missing though. Suddenly, a, hu a large bag is sitting forlornly by itself to the side. Sayori, do you mind at m ha <laughs> Sayori, do you mind handing me that sack you've got? I'll help you distribute all the stuff inside of it. Okay, here you go. Peering inside, I catch sight of quite a few small colorful bags, neatly tied shut with ribbons. Ah, just as I remember. Her handiwork from yesterday really shows. I pull one out. Yuri and Monica notice the little bags, looking on her with interest. Ah, so this is what you and Finn have been working on over the weekend, Sayori. I love how these look. You both did a fantastic job. Oh, it's mostly Sayori. I couldn't do the ribbon part of the I couldn't do the ribbon part if my life depended on it. <laughs> I'm sure the contents are just as, as impressive as the exterior. What sort of things did you choose for the quotes? <laughs> well, we had a lot of fun with that. She, delic she delicately opens one of the little bags, fishing out a quote. It's perfectly okay to write garbage as long as you edit it in brilliantly. Wait, I didn't put this one in. Oh yeah, that one was mine. I thought it was kind of funny. Monica giggles, whereas Yuri and Sayori look like they're trying to figure out what punchline is. Well, one out of three isn't so bad. What about this one? I hastily open another bag, picking out the quote. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets fixated on a specific point. Just force yourself to get something out on paper and tidy up later. I like that one a lot, Finn. After all, it's pretty much true. If you never start, you can make any progress. Keeping your pen in the same spot would just result in a big puddle of ink. We couldn't find out who said that, which is a shame. Ooh, have you guys tried the candy? Uh, don't you think we should save those for the people we made these bags for, Sayori? Oh yeah, <laughs> Natsuki's irritated voice rings over from across the classroom. I don't know why Natsuki's name is misspelled there. Hey, if you guys are finished over there, can you actually sort Sayori's stuff out? You know, we do have a festival to prepare for. She huffs and the rest of us share a guilty grin. Natsuki's right. 
Papa, I suppose not to give Reese a valid point. Yeah, let's get to it then. We itch the valve, the valve into the sack and scoop up the little bags, going around the room and setting them down on each desk. We printed out a few spare quotes to put around the classroom, and it's not long before a few desks bear the wise words of writers and poets alike. Sayori wanders over to the front door and sticks one of the quotes there. I'm impressed by your thinking. Everyone will see the quote that way. It doesn't take long to distribute all the little bags around the room. Out of the corner of my eye, I spot Sayori trying to sneakily open a bag and pop a can in your mouth. Sayori, dodge your frick in there! And naturally, she drops the chocolate. Oh, some things never change. Ah, sneaky Sayori, I nearly thought I got you there. Okay, cop up to it, people. Oh, wow! Wow, that's... Oh, this is really interesting. Of course, we got all the little colored bags, the little candles, and I'm pretty sure the essential fu uh, the essential oil diffuser will uh, activate later, so we'll save that for last. And uh, I'm pretty sure the cupcakes are in it. I'll check. Presto. By the time we finish, it looks like everyone else is done too. The classroom is now darkened and lit up by the ambient lighting of the candles. The de a delicate floral scent wafts through the air, courtesy of Yuri's essential oils. Sayori and I to head towards the other three girls, who are huddled near the front of the classroom, murmuring to each other. Is it about time to start yet? Almost. We wrote that we are going to start at 10 a.m. on our posters, and that's in 10 minutes. Are people actually going to show up for this? Don't be so negative. Some people have shown up already, and I'm sure that more will, more will file in soon. You guys don't have to be worrying so much about it. I've got full faith in all of you. I've seen all of your poems. It's been amazing watching each and every one of you find and nurture your unique writing styles. She smiles encouragingly at each of us. To her credit, her words are helpful, even though I haven't been part of this club for as long as the other three. Even Finn? Uh, Natsuki! It was just a joke, jeez. I thought some humor would lighten the mood. Ah, sorry. Just making, just trying to make sure everyone's in the best frame of mind before we start. It's okay, Monica. We all understand and appreciate that. Yeah, we know how much this club means to you. I want it to be a success just as much as you do. Could've put it better myself. Even though I've only been in the club for a few days, I felt really at home. Truth to be told, I used to be kind of lonely. Knowing that I'm included in with, knowing that I'm included in something with people like you guys always makes me feel better. Apart from Sayori on a Sunday, I haven't told anyone about how lonely I've been feeling. I'm a little nervous about how the others will react. Well, talk to them about it because um, if you're lonely in your entire life, just you know, just let it all out. Let your tell them about your problems. Uh, especially if you're going to trust you and all, it, it's okay, I mean, they're your they're friends and all. They all turn to me, varying degrees of emotion on her faces. Natsuki impassively looks to the side while Yuri gives me an expression of concern. Sayori looks a little sad, remembering our conversation about this. It's okay, Finn. We can change that, remember? Like I said, I f I'm so happy you feel welcome here. It's exactly what we wanted. I agree. No one should feel alone. I know it's a quite I know it's quite a difficult thing to experience. I feel a warm flush of gratitude at their words. Uh, thanks guys, that means a lot. Also, Monica, I told Sayori this earlier and I figured you might appreciate hearing this. Hmm? Well, no matter how the festival goes, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. Thanks to you guys, that lonely feeling has disappeared. You've, be you've all been so welcoming and accepting and uh, believe me, and I'm really appreciative of that. So even if this event doesn't quite go as planned, just know that I really love it here and I'm so glad Sayori told me about this club. If others don't like what we have here, well, it's their loss, right? Exactly. The girl's not in agreement, smiling at me. I had no idea my words would, would have such an impact, but I'm glad they did on the end. 
I'm glad everyone is all happy and uh, of course we're all together now. It feels so rewarding to be able to give back to the club for a change. Monica turns to me with uh, eyes shining with appreciation. Thank you, Finn. You're right. Hearing those words from a newcomer really makes me feel like I've succeeded in my goals as president. After all, I wanted to create a place where people can feel comfortable and share literature, and that, and what you have just said makes me feel like it was all worth it. She turns to face the others. See guys, if we could show Finn how amazing this club is, who's to say we can't show the other students the same thing? Don't see this, don't see them as strangers, see them as potential club members. She's definitely got an ex inspiring way with words. Yeah, good thinking, Monica. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, yeah, if they say something bad about my cupcakes, I'm gonna... Oh, gloves. <laughs> oh, Natsuki. Yuri giggles softly. I won't lie to you. I'm still quite nervous. But after hearing what you've said, Finn, I realize there might be other lonely people out there. This club would be the perfect place for them. Yeah, we might even find more manga enthusiasts. That's the spirit. Now let's go and show the rest of the school just what the Lurcher Club is made for. As if on cue, a few people wander in the room, looking cur curiously looking around the room. Monica confidently walks over and greets them. And so, it begins. Well, uh, as much as I love showing the festival and the recital for today, I'm sorry, but that's all for today's episode, fellow knights. But don't worry, there's always the next one. So if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It will help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified in case if I do or, well, upload something new. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below and with that being said thank you guys all so much for watching Finn the Dark Knight signing off and I'll see you guys next time and as always stay awesome and have fun fellow knights I just really hope I won't bonked in the next episode because I am not gonna go to horny jail okay that's enough all right I'll see you guys next time so stay awesome